People mistakenly think that video green screen effects are much more difficult to accomplish than they are. The reality is with Camtasia Studio, you can easily create green screen effects. Let's go ahead and try one now. I've got a project open here in Camtasia Studio, and I'm going to go ahead and import a background image and a video shot against a green screen. First thing I'm going to do is put my background image into the actual production. And there it is. Pretty simple image of a photo on a TV with a logo. And let's make this stay on screen a bit longer. So I'm going to drag this to about the 32nd point. Next, we'll drag our layer with the green screen video into our production. And I'm going to snip off this first tab. You can see by the audio pattern here that that's just an area where I'm not talking. And let's drag our background to the very end of the green screen video so it matches. So now you can see that the green screen is totally covering the background layer. So now I want to approximately position myself as the speaker where I want to be when the green screen effect is applied. Think about here looks right. And I'm also going to use the crop tool up here in the right, and I'm going to crop off a part of this video. Our green screen isn't very evenly lit, so I'd probably be better off cropping out the parts that are much, much darker, as you can see. We can come out of crop mode. So now if we were to play this, you could see the actual green screen video running over the background. Now I'm going to apply the green screen effect itself. I'm going to select the video layer with the green screen on it. And then I'm going to move to the visual properties panel and the remove a color visual effect is the one that I want. I can now use the eyedropper and I can select a color I want to remove. So try and find a green that's somewhere in the middle of the color range, not too dark, not too light. And you can see here already most of the green has been removed. You can then adjust the tolerance in order to get the rest of the green off your image. Now you don't want to adjust it any more than necessary because you might see parts of the actual speaker start to fade as well. You can also adjust the softness and the hue if you need to, to get the exact look that you want. I think that's about right. So once you've done that, you can go ahead and move your playhead to the beginning and you can actually test out your green screen in real time. This is lagging just a little bit because of the computing power that I have available to me. But here you can see we've got the green screen effect working perfectly because the green screen isn't visible and you can see the layer behind it. Now I put in a static image layer. The layer behind your green screen doesn't necessarily have to be a static image. We could actually put in a video loop if we wanted to. This is a video loop file that I just put in. So I'm going to go ahead and on top of the background, I'm going to put in this video loop layer. And the video loop will work just the same as the green screen. So now you can see the actual video loop layer behind me and it's got just some subtle motion that you can see. And we can put the video loop in, of course, as many times as we need to, because it's a loop file in order to get to the end of our video. So we're going to need to put five or six of the loop files in here, just like this. I think one more will do it. And so now the video loop will be behind me as I'm speaking. All right. So now that we've got this, let's go ahead and produce the video so we can see the final result. And of course, once we produce it, we shouldn't have any of the latency that you saw previously. So I've already got some settings here. I'm going to go ahead and for now, just go ahead and put this on the desktop and we'll let this render and take a look at the end result. 
Okay, we've just about finished rendering, and now we'll be able to see the final video file here in just a moment. So let's go ahead and take a look at our MP4, and you'll be able to see the final effect of the green screen and the video loop running behind it. You can see we've got the subtle motion, and we've got me cut out of the green screen. Pretty good work. Really easy to do green screen work with Camtasia Studio.